Okay, hey everyone, welcome back to SIW Videos. It is April 30th. I wanted to come back on and give a little update on our clippings to see how they're doing, let you know if there's any progress or anything like that on the hydrangeas and the sunny knockout roses. It is April 30th. I took the clippings and put them in water and planted the ones somewhere around April 8th. The hydrangeas I had done a few days before that, so it's been 22 days since it's because it is April 30th. So let's take a look at them and see. I do change the water um, at least once a week, sometimes more, depends on when it looks dirty. I just pour out the water and put new water in. I don't really see anything on them yet. Nothing that's too promising. I don't know if you can see anything. That is roses. This is also roses. Occasionally, I will see like some white looking stuff that comes off the tip of it. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that on that right there. I don't know that that's roots. I don't know if that's a process it goes through. See if I can turn it and you can see it on that one back there. Not sure what it is. This is my first time doing this. Right there on that one, I can kind of see something, but I don't think it's roots. I don't know what it is. Uh, like I said, it could be the process, the stages of getting ready to develop them. These are the hydrangeas. Don't see anything on them. And this is the other hydrangea. I don't know, will it work? I don't know, we'll see. Um, the ones that we planted in pots, in soil, with peanut butter and rooting powder, they look bad. I'm not gonna lie, they look bad. Some of them have no leaves left on them at all, but I'm still gonna leave them. Still got some green in the stem. I water them regularly uh, to keep the soil moist. This one was done in peanut butter. This one has a, this one was done in the rooting powder. It has a little bit of green leaf left on it, but it also has some dried leaves. Um, this is what a lot of them look at. They're kind of dried out. They're not, they're not looking very good. I did read something one time where it talked about making a greenhouse for each one and I took some water bottles and cut the bottom out and put the water bottle on top to make it to form a greenhouse for these plants that are planted in soil. And I had an issue with the greenhouse on there. It was almost like some maggots were forming inside the greenhouse and I couldn't get rid of them. So I took the greenhouses off. I figured, wasn't sure, but I thought that can't be a good thing. So I took those off and I've left them without the greenhouses. The ones that are in water look a lot better. The leaves look a lot better than the ones that are planted in soil with either peanut butter or rooting powder. Some, I mean, the leaves still look okay. Now I do have some that the leaves have kind of dried out on these too. But we also had a storm come through the other night that I should have brought the ones that are in water inside because when I came out the next morning, the storm was so strong. It had blown a lot of these clippings out of the containers with water and they were all over my porch floor. So I had to find them and put them back in the water. The ones planted in soil, they were okay. So I guess we'll just wait and see Fingers crossed that something, oh, what was that? Fingers crossed that something will form, some roots will start growing. It's been a while. I don't know what the average time is. I've tried to look to see how long, and I read so many different things. So I'm just going to leave them, and I'll continue to give you updates. 
Thanks for watching. Welcome back. I do have some kind of bad news today. Sorry. Um, our rose clippings that we put in soil on April 8th. I don't think they're going to make it. They were like little stems and they kind of broke off. I think I'm going to have to do away with those. And also our rose clippings that we put in water. I don't think they're doing very good either. We've had quite a few storms come through this time of year. It's very stormy. Some of these clippings, I would come out here and find them on the ground. They were blown out of their water or whatever, and I would kind of try to save them. I'd pick them up, put them back in. But a lot of them, they don't have leaves left. The stems have kind of turned black. I just don't think they're going to survive. And like I said, the that's from the rooting powder, nothing. So I'm going to get rid of all the ones that I planted in soil. These are some more. You can see kind of, mm, not very good. Dry it out. The good news is the hydrangeas that on April 8th I put in water. I do think I see some water roots starting to form on some of them. See if I can find one to show you. Find a good one for you. Let's see. See those right there? I don't know if you can see them or not, but I think that's water roots. Everything that I have looked up that talks about water roots, it's what they kind of look like. So I'm gonna leave them in here a while longer to see if they get longer. And then from what I understand is you have to acclimate a water root to the soil in order to make a water root turn into a soil root. You would put a little bit of soil in your water. This is what I'm reading. You put a little bit of soil in your water and then you slowly have less water, more soil to get the roots used to being in soil and not sitting in water. But I'm gonna let them grow a little longer before I do that. Some other kind of good news is now that it's later in spring, because today is June 1st, I did take some more rose clippings and I took some more hydrangea clippings. I did get better clippings this time because the plants have grown and so it's later in the season. So maybe we'll have some good luck with those getting water roots in a couple of months. I'm not having very good luck with the knockout roses but maybe fingers crossed these are better clippings they're bigger they're longer i had more to choose from on my plant because the plant has grown some since i took the original clippings uh the le some of the leaves on these have yellow since i put them in here i took these new clippings on may 24th so they are a lot newer than these are these were taken on April 8th. So a good month and a half before these. But anyway, I just wanted to give you an update. I wanted to give you some bad news about my rose, my rose clippings I planted in soil. And I did want to tell you that I did take some new clippings. We'll see how they do. So hopefully we'll have another update. Hopefully it'll be a good update saying, oh, I've got some, some uh, water roots on my rose clippings. Fingers crossed, I'm hoping. And maybe by then we'll have some hydrangeas in the soil from our old, oldest hydrangea clippings. All right, well, thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned. Like I said, I will have another update. Don't forget to give us a like and a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you can follow down this path with us, down this journey, and see if we're able to grow us some new plants from clippings. Fingers crossed.